Okay, so now we're going to talk about the sources where you can get all the files and for first things first you need to put your CRS on the country CRS that's being used so these WGS84 is a way of projecting that's uh, like internationally used I believe Google also used that for their Google Maps uh, those are like projections how a map gets unfolded every country has their own and in the Netherlands we use Amersfoort Air Day New you can type it here and it will show up it's with this number, so we're going to set that in. Uh, different types of sources. So you got like the open street map source, where you need to zoom pretty far in to get any data. And probably this is, well, this is big enough. So I already went to download it, but I'm going to download it again. So if we just throw this in, you will get uh, option to select what you want, so points or uh, polygons. So we're going to select all and we're going to add. It again asks us for our CSR. You just click OK and it's heavily distorted because it didn't, it changed it back. So we are going to put it on Armsport again and now it's correct. Uh, another source is if you need an area bigger, it's uh, Geofabriek, it's a German website, it puts all the open street maps on its server. So you go to Europe for example, and then you go to the Netherlands, and then you can download the provinces. You should download, uh, if you can, just always go for the shapefile. Those are uh, like interchangeable formats for uh, all the GIS software. I went ahead and already did that and I unpacked it. So these are like the layers that you get. I'm going to sort it by type so I can see it all. So let's say we want the natural area. Uh, you just drag it in and it will show up. It might take a while because it's pretty... Oh, these were just the points of the natural area. Uh, let me see. What does water do? Yeah, so we got all the water of that area, as you can see. So that's a source file for it. Another source file for the for the Netherlands is uh, PDoc. You can find most of the data that you need here. So you go to bekijk all the data set, look at all the data sets. And let's say you want boundaries and then you can go to like the PRK and those are the how do you say the parcel boundaries look at the details and you just need to click like a lot to get there you can get like services that you can load in I will show you that later uh, you can download and you can make your like your own selection here of what you want to download, make a download, and it you can also drag it in. Another website is uh, data.overheid.nl. You can also get uh, a lot of data here. Let's say you're looking for a typical, so, typical city. What do they have uh, reports about the culture, the aerial pictures, you can put this all into the GIS software. And the same goes for uh, the PDOC website, you can type in that you also want Nijmegen. And they, this website is rather slow, so it might not, might not find it that quickly. Another thing is when you go to plugins, manage and install plugins, you can uh, search for the PDOC plugin. Uh, it is this one, but you can also install the other ones. When you install it, you will get a button here where you could, for example, put in the aerial photo of, let's say, this is actual, this is right now. So we put that one in and you get the aerial picture. Uh, this is uh, these types that are standing here. This is uh, a WMTS. You got a WTS also. These are all raster files, and a WFS, for example, that those are vector data. 
Please note that it downloads it for the whole of the Netherlands. So if you're going to download a WFS, zoom in to the area that you need to be, like really close, like perhaps this. And okay, so it's not all updated correctly anymore. So some of those might not work. Uh, let me see protected protected sites. Does this one work? Maybe it's busy. Oh, oh, these are like the sheets of paper for the height map, for example. So zoom in, then load a WFS server, and it will all be correct. Let's say here yeah, municipalities. As, as you now can see, it loads when I zoom out. So it will eventually get for whole of the Netherlands. And you see that it gets much more difficult to do. Another source is, uh, let me quickly check, is a meta search. Those are this. Uh, you go to services. I think you need to do add a default service. And now I have to click yes to all, but you probably won't need to do that. Oh, okay, let me go through them. So it's here, then you can go and search and you can type in what you need here. So let's say you need Natura 2000 area, you can search for it and gives you the same thing, but I'm not zoomed in right now, so I'm not going to download it, but you can go to add data, add a WFS or a um, raster image with this one. So these are all the types of sources that you can get. Uh, other sources might come from, uh, let me quickly see, from a, from a server. So we're going to the cadastre again. So you see here a WMS or FS server, which is going to do because this goes quickly and MS. you got a URL over here, which is a connection to their server where it is. So you copy that and you can see here uh, WMS, WMTS. You can make a new connection, call it BRK because those are the parcels. You paste it and you press OK. So for now, because it's going to be pretty, I'm going, to, I'm going to go to an area which doesn't have that many parcels, so it loads quicker. Uh, let me quickly check. So you've got, to, and let's say you want an image of all the buildings. Or the, this, uh, I'm not sure what I'm doing, but we will figure it out together. It doesn't load, I don't know why. For the heck of it, this is how that works. Maybe we need another server, that might be the case. Mm -mm. So it's loading and it's not showing up. Most of the time it works, but as you can see, it doesn't work now. Actually, what just happened, it's, it you connect to the server yourself. So that's this part. Uh, for the next part, we're going to make selections. I'm going to use the same file that we just uh, loaded in. I'm going to delete all those and uh, it will all make sense in a while. See you in the next tutorial.